Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In today's video of On Sundays We Stamp, I will be working with a stamping plate that I don't love. We're going to start today's video with two coats of Ice or No Dice. This is by Morgan Taylor and it is part of their Marilyn Monroe collection. It's sort of a beige champagne. I always thought champagne more had, had more of a pinkish color to it, but this one is more tan, I think. This is the plate that I am talking about. It is the Teenage Daydream by bundle monster before it was maniology and the reason I don't like it is this um, after I bought it it immediately just kept coming off of this backing and whenever I tried to scrape my card across the whole thing would just shift and it was difficult to work with I'm going to be taking peanut butter by kale polish along with straight up black and also these other colors to do a reverse stamping design with the pictures that I am picking up so the designs I'm going to be using are these adorable heart-shaped foods. There's a cheeseburger, a pizza slice, and a donut. And I love this because despite the fact that I am in a very happy marriage, my true valentine is food. I have always loved food like my entire life. And I love sweets and I love cheeseburgers. So forgive me my love, but food has a special place in my heart. So this is what peanut butter from Kale Polish is perfect for. It is the perfect shade for breads or baked goods and designs like this. I just love it because it's the, it's the exact color of a burger bun. I'm using a brush by Maniology. It's their tiny detail brush and it's about $14. It's perfect for picking up these tiny little designs, just as long as you don't pick up too much nail polish when you are applying it to the image because if you get too big of a drop, you might overtake the other lines. And what you're really trying to do is fill it in very carefully. Actually, I wanna correct it. Uh, the brush is actually $9. I don't know why I said 14, that's just crazy. And this green I'm using is such an old color. I need to get a new green. So the next design I'm painting is the pizza slice, which is my favorite. I love it so much. I was actually considering only doing the pizza slices, but I decided to go and include the other ones as well. I really want to find a place that makes pe heart-shaped pizzas for Valentine's Day. I really would love that. As long as the pizza is actually tasty, because if it's not, then it's not worth it. I filled in the pepperoni slices with Cherry Bomb, which is not available yet on Maniology. It's going to be available in the next month, I think. And then I'm filling in the cheese area with Nico, also by Maniology. Next, I'm applying them to the nail. You guys have to remember that because there is a lot of polish on the back of it, it's probably not gonna be completely dry when you're ready for it, which I just get so impatient sometimes and I don't care to wait for it to dry. So a couple of these ended up getting smudged and I had to redo them. So don't make more work for yourself. I always end up taking way more time on my nails because I've ruined so many of the stamps. Once you have them on your nails, go ahead and apply your no smudge top coat. But sometimes you're gonna have to just deal with some smudges because when you do reverse stamping, um, the brush movement will streak the stamps. It's annoying, but it happens. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.